Hi everyone, very quickly going to go through number 13, the story of Echo, uh, sorry, Cupid and Psyche, not Echo and Narcissus, Cupid and Psyche. Horatia and Scintilla are sitting sub arbore, follows sub, so there we go, arbore, under a tree. Ablative, Horatia says, dative, to her mother, while we are resting, mother, tell me, tell to me, um, imperative verb, dative, tell to me a story. Scintilla responds to her daughter, what sort of story do you wish to hear, my dear daughter? Horatia says, tell to me, another imperative and dative, tell to me a sweet story, mother. Scintilla says, listen, my daughter, there we have a vocative, I will tell you, future tense, we haven't met that yet, a sweet but sad story. Many years ago in a faraway land, the king and queen are living. You have three daughters. All the daughters are beautiful, but the youngest, called Psyche, is the most beautiful. That's a superlative. We haven't met that yet. All the men and all the women are praising her and worshipping her as of a goddess. At last, the goddess Venus is angry. She is envious, Puelai, of the girl, um, because she is beautiful. She is envious because... Everyone worships her as if a goddess. She summons Cupid and she says, You, my dear son, vocative there, um, you are able, excitare, infinitive, to arouse love in the human hearts. Ablative there. Um, go and look. Go now, rather. Inunc. He is an imperative verb. Go now. Look for a beautiful girl called Psyche. Shoot an arrow and force her, infinitive, to love some ugly and deformed man. Cupid prepares perficere infinitive to carry out imperia neuter the orders matris of his mother he cap it he takes his bow you can just hear the printer in the background apologies for that he takes his bow and his arrows and he flies down to earth soon he finds psyche who is sitting alone under a tree there's another rabbit uh she is sad for all praise her all worship her but no one loves her no one marries her cupid for a long time looks at this amazing beauty Jam dormit. Now Psyche is asleep. Cupid goes up and looks at her more closely. It's a comparative adverb there. Propius. Um, we haven't met that yet. Immediately he burns ablative by, with, or from, with love. Dum dormit. While the girl sleeps, he lifts her up and carries her through the air to his divine home. There he gently puts her down in lecto ablative on the couch. Mox ewigelath sike. As soon Psyche wakes up and gets up, she looks at omnia, adjective as noun. She looks at all things, everything. She hears voices, but she sees no one. The voices say, all the things which you are seeing, mistress, your husband gives, dative, tibi, to you. We are your servants. Enter and sit down, two imperatives there. Psyche is very astonished, um, but she enters the dining room and she sees a beautiful meal prepared. Just seeing if I can move this around. I can to get to the last paragraph. Good. Um, Lena Leiter, rather, cannot. She eats happily. Then she goes to sleep. While she is sleeping, she hears a noise. She wakes up. She is terrified. An unknown husband is there. He climbs onto the bed and he holds Psyche and Plexu in his embrace, ablative there. But he departs before the rising of the sun, before sunrise. Um, solace, literally the rising genitive of the sun. Psyche, when she wakes up, is alone. She sees no traces, marity genitive of her husband. Only the voices are present, which are looking after her. Here we have the story of Cupid and Psyche, which is such a wonderful one. Here being Cupid, the idea of desire and love or lust, that you fall in love with a person. But really, I think it's more you fall in love with a version of yourself. You fall in love with your idea of who you think a person is actually going to be. And what you need is your Cupid, your desire and your love, which while it's important, you need that to come down with your psyche, which is your soul, the understanding of the other person, which is actually to understand them as a person rather than your idealized fantasy image of them. Anyway, that's for another lesson. All the very best. Bye-bye.